Right, today we are at Foxley Wood. Now this is a very special place for me, you can see the sign here. I thought I'd do the intro right here. It's a very special place because this is the first uh, area I ever saw the extremely lovely and elusive purple emperor butterfly. Now purple emperor butterflies are very, very special. I hope the wind isn't too bad. They're very, very special and that's because they are such a unique butterfly. They've got a lovely purple sheen. They live in the tops of the trees, uh, usually oak trees. Uh, they have bright yellow tongues. They like to uh, essentially get drunk sometimes on uh, fruit um, and then fight with other males. Uh, so they are very strange, very odd and fantastic butterfly. And so today, if we are extremely lucky, I do doubt it, but if we are lucky, you might see just a glimpse, a flash of purple on our camera today as we go and venture around Foxley Wood. So let's go. So, so far it's been absolutely brilliant. Even though the day isn't particularly good, um, you know, it's a bit overcast, but there are spots of sun like there is right now. And we've seen, I think about six, maybe seven uh, individual purple emperors. It's uh, just fantastic. They're like small bats uh, when they fly. Hopefully we can show some uh, footage. It's so hard to get good footage of them, especially, you know, if you don't have some kind of um, sort of telescopic lens. It's, that's usually so far away in the tops of trees. They're really hard to get. But yeah, purple emperors are just fantastic. Uh, some little information about uh, purple emperors is that it's actually quite extraordinary that they're here in Norfolk where I live uh, because usually they're in more of the southern parts of England sort of ooh, wind uh, the southern parts of England around sort of London area maybe a bit uh, more towards Peterborough area as well but yeah they have slowly over the years actually made a comeback uh, and a move up the country and sort of tangled their way into Norfolk. It was only a few years ago, I think 2018 roughly, that the first Purple Emperors were started to be recorded here. So considering that, it's actually quite amazing that there's now so many, because as I said, we've seen about seven in the space of probably less than 10 minutes. But yes, uh, hopefully we'll get some really good footage for you, uh, as, as best as we can at least. Uh, I don't know if one will land on the floor, that'll be really lucky. But again, hopefully we can get some uh, lovely purple was just gliding through the yard. They are, like I said, they do not flap, they glide, and it's absolutely wonderful. So, I'll see you in a sec, we'll see what we get. Uh, there are some silver washed fritillaries that hopefully I can talk about. Hopefully, we'll get one standing still and I can talk to you a little bit about them. But yeah, uh, I'll see you in a minute. So, we're at the Glade right now. The Glade uh, is a great place. For a lot of, of the more normal butterflies. There's lots of ringlets, lots of meadow browns, gatekeepers, and a few silver wash fritillaries. And we've even been lucky enough to see a single uh, purple emperor flying above us uh, at some points. Maybe we can show you a bit of that. They are, again, extremely hard to get. Yeah, follow me. Look, if I just wave my arm, we should get loads and loads butterflies coming up they are everywhere out here it's loud whoa, whoa. look at all of them everywhere hundreds and hundreds of them whoa. so you can go through here track through I mean look at them all of them it's brilliant there's a lovely lovely ringlet here if you follow me there he is he was quite fresh, a fresh ringlet. Whoa. I mean, look at all these butterflies. It's just brilliant. I love places like this, where you can just see, all you can see is the fluttering movement of butterflies. It's wonderful, everywhere you look. Oh, I can hear some, uh, some crickets or grasshoppers as well. Wow. This is a brilliant place. Woo. But yes, we'll uh, we'll finish trekking through this place. Uh, I think there's a purple emperor actually over there. If you have a look, you might be able to see it in the camera. Again, they're very hard to get on camera because they're so far away and so high up in the trees. But yes, we'll uh, we'll see you in a minute. Uh, maybe when I finish, or maybe we'll see another great sight. But yeah, we'll see you in a sec. Purple emperor right here. 
Oh, right behind you. Ah. You got him? Right, so here we have what I think is a silver washed, oh wow, another one just went past. A silver washed fritillary. Can you see? Yeah, I think it's a silver washed fritillary. I'll say it again, I'm not an expert on fritillaries. They all look the same to me. But nevertheless, any fritillary is good. Fritillaries are absolutely lovely butterflies. Wonderful, vibrant, wow. It's really displaying for us right now. Now, I think it's a uh, silver washed. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it's flying. Oh, he's up there. I think it's a silver washed, mainly because at the tops of the wings, they're a bit more the black bits, are a bit more long and elongated. I'm not sure of any other better way. There are probably better ways to tell, uh, but it seems to me a good difference between silver washed and dark green fritillaries uh, is that the, yeah, the, the top wings a lot more the black bits are a lot more elongated and sort of look like pen pen marks as such. Uh, but yeah, they are wonderful, wonderful butterflies. Just perching up there. I think at the moment they're trying to get as much sun as possible. It's not So what you're seeing here is a white admiral. Oh, there he goes about. There he goes. White admirals are great butterflies. Uh, they are, as you can see, they look quite like a purple emperor. So you can get mixed up. Um, it's gone now. Oh, yes, white admirals are brilliant. They look a bit like a purple emperor and a little bit, I suppose, like a red admiral. I do wonder why they're called white admirals. But um, yeah, white admirals are these big, large, greyish blackish butterflies they're quite long they're a very long butterfly uh, and they have oh there he is i think just flying about and they have uh white oh there he's he's right up there white uh shaded sort of uh kind of uh squarish um, markings the white bits but yes if you ever see um a butterfly that uh, flies like a purple emperor so it almost glides it's gliding through the air and you see that it's many black and white and that will be a white admiral there's not many black and white butterflies in the uk there's a marbled white which has a lot more white but yes that is the uh, the white admiral brilliant butterfly right today has been absolutely brilliant um i'm actually amazed how brilliant it's been considering the weather but uh yeah it's been absolutely wonderful we've seen multiple purple emperors Although we didn't get them very well on camera, I admit. I don't think we have anyway. I'm sure you've seen already. Uh, we've seen some silver wash fritillaries, which again are a wonderful, so vibrant orange butterfly. Uh, we've seen meadow browns, we've seen ringlets, we've seen, I think, even a white admiral or two. Um, and also at the end, unfortunately, I was talking to some butterfly people, but uh, at the end, uh, I couldn't talk about another butterfly that uh, the camera woman got. Uh, which was a comma. I'll show it on the screen now and I'll talk over it. Uh, and a comma, uh, are they are lovely butterflies, commas. Uh, they look from side on like a leaf, sort of a crumpled leaf. They've got very uh, weird wing shape. Uh, and on the back, they do look almost fritillary-like, if you remember the fritillaries. 
uh, and they look sort of uh, vibrant orange, uh, different shades of sort of autumn orange and little black dots. And yeah, they're, they're, they're most uh, fun thing about them, in my opinion, is their wing shape. It's, uh, it's a very weird wavy sort of thing. And that's the, the easiest way to tell if it's a comma or not, other than a fritillary, is the wing shape being all wavy. But yes, today has been brilliant. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, maybe you'll come and visit Foxley as well, seeing how good it is. But yes, thank you very, very much, uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>